Good day everyone. I would like to introduce myself. My name is Putu Teta. I'm a lecturer at Chemical Engineering General Ahmad Yani University, Chimahi. Today I would like to present our research paper on behalf of Mr. Febrianto Adinugroho entitled The Influence of Mixing on Electrocoagulation Performance During Soy Sauce Wastewater Treatment. Soy sauce is a fermented soy product which has long been used as a traditional seasoning for some Asian cuisines. The production of soy sauce generates a large volume of wastewater which is characterized by a high concentration of organic contaminants, salinity, and color. Some treatment methods have been utilized to treat the soy sauce wastewater such as quenching batch reactor, membrane bioreactor, and oxidation. One alternative technology that is commonly used for the soy sauce wastewater treatment is electrocoagulation. Electrocoagulation is one of the electrochemical processes which has been successfully used for the wastewater treatment with a high removal efficiency and also eco-friendly. This process involves the in-situ generation of coagulant by the electrical dissolution of metal ions such as aluminum from the anode with a subsequent release of hydrogen gas at the cathode. The hydrogen gas bubbles lift the pollutant to the top of the electrocoagulation reactor which can be collected and then removed. The influence of several parameters on the electrocoagulation processes has been studied, such as type of power supply, current density, electrode materials, electrode arrangements, and also concentrations of anions. This is the experimental setup for the wastewater treatment. The electrocoagulation reactor is equipped with a turbine impeller with six aluminum electrodes as the baffles. Two electrode configurations are used with a reaction time of 60 minutes and the electrocoagulation process is conducted in continuous mode. The influence of electrode configurations and mixing process is investigated. These features uh, show the performance of electrocoagulation system on turbidity removal during the soy sauce with water treatment. A significant reduction has occurred in the first 30 minutes of operating time for all electrocoagulation processes. For the increase of the operating times up to 60 minutes, there are slightly changes in turbidity. The four anodes and two cathode configuration resulted in higher turbidity reduction compared to three anode and three cathode configuration. The increase of anode number enhanced the quantity of dissolved aluminum ions and coagulant dosage in the wastewater. Consequently, a higher suspended solid removal can be achieved. The presence, the presence of missing devices in the electrocoagulation reactor improved the turbidity removal. This feature shows the effect of operating parameters on TDS reduction during the electrocoagulation process. The soy sauce with water contains a high salt concentration and therefore, the initial TDS of the waste water before the electrocoagulation process is high. The experimental results saw that the operating parameters used in this work didn't significantly reduce the TDS of the soy sauce waste water. The low efficiency of TDS removal is probably attributed to the characteristic of the salt in the soy sauce waste water, which is still in the dissolved state. Similar to the turbidity removal, the presence of mixing during the electrocoagulation process resulted in higher TDS reduction than without. The electrocoagulation performance in BOD removal over 60 minutes of operating time is shown in this figure. Without the missing process, the 3 anode and 3 cathode electrode configuration reduced the BOD concentration by 11%, while the 4 anode and 2 cathode configuration reduced the BOD by 18%. The presence of mixing process improved the BOD removal to 30 and 37 respectively. This results saw that the mixing process improved the interaction between metal cations and coagulant with the contaminants, which result in higher BOD removal during the 60 minutes of electrocoagulation process. In this electrode configuration, some operating parameters should be considered to be improved, such as longer operating time, higher applied current, or uh, varying the electrode configuration and spacing. The conclusion of the results are the 4 anode and 2 cathode electrode configuration results in higher efficiency in reducing turbidity, TDS, and BOD of the wastewater compared to 3 anode and 3 cathode configuration. 
without a missing process in the electrocoagulation reactor, the four anode and two cathode electrode configuration reduced turbidity, TDS, and BUD by 82.5%, 10%, and 18.7%. The presence of mixing process in the electrocoagulation treatment, the reduction of turbidity, TDS, and BUD is improved to uh, 84.7%, 15%, and uh, 37% respectively. That's all our research presentation and thank you for your attention.